plug the hose that comes out of here to get access to this. There's a little bit more room. And um, there is a dimple. I want to make sure you guys can see it. There's a dimple on the firewall there. And then next to the brake booster, there is a stamp. Uh, it, it looks like it says um, a one or something like that. So in between those two points, I'm going to be drilling a hole. And I have a grommet, which I'll show you guys. So the grommet I have right here, I got this through Summit Racing. And the number you're going to need to be 33137-VUI. Uh, they just call it a large grommet. Um, and they have the specs of the grommet on their website, but I need to cut or drill a hole that's a uh, inch and a half to accept this grommet. So when I go drill the hole you'll get to see exactly where it's at, but it's about five inches from that blue cable that goes in, into the firewall there. So then back to the tools here. Um, my drill is not going to fit in there. This is an 18 volt drill, so it's a little bit bigger uh, with a chuck on it. So it's not an impact, it's a drill with a chuck. You can do impact, but you could do drilling and impact. It's a multi use tool. But, anyways, the problem is you can't get the drill in there. I have this extension rod here, and then basically, this chuck. Here attaches to the rod. Um, this is also found at Home Depot. Um, it's just a chuck that you would find in a drill just like this. Um, so if you have a drill that doesn't have a chuck on it, um, so like the issue here is like you can't attach a drill bit to the end of this. So basically, this chuck will allow me to put a drill bit into here, lock it and then put it into this extension rod here and then it just it locks in there and then you put your drill bit on the end and then you got uh, I believe this is 12 or 14 inches so I have plenty of room to get in there and, and drill now um, so let me get this drilled out and uh, I'll show you a couple steps along the way and we'll start with that Real quick before I start drilling into the firewall, I'll show you how this is used and put together. So here is the long chain that goes into the drill bit. Okay, this is quick release from here. So you just take the chuck here and put this end in like that. Locks in and then Here's our drill bit. Um, this is a 330 seconds I'm gonna use to drill a test hole in the firewall. So it goes into this chuck here. And you just turn it to tighten it. Once it's on the drill, hold it and then tighten it a little bit more. You just hold it and then tighten up the rest of the way. So I got, I made a dot with uh, a marker. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on camera. I'm going to point to it. Basically, there's a crease. There's like a crease here and a crease here. And then it's flat along here. Uh, looks like it's right in the middle of this crease right here. Um, my finger is literally right below it. You can see it. Um, and so yeah, so it's about from center of this indentation, which you should be able to see that. 
Uh, it's a half, half inch. And then it lines up on this crease here. So, to double check to make sure I got enough clearance, I'll take my drill bit here. I didn't show you guys this bit before, but I'll explain it in a second. So now I got this bit in the center of the dot. So there's enough room on the side of the brake booster, and then there's enough room on the other side of where my hand's at. You guys can't see, but there's room, plenty of room over there. More concerned about staying away from the brake booster. Um, so there's enough room to get the ground in there and to, uh, get in there so back to this bit that I have here comes with this kit it's this uh, call it's a spider is the brand and uh, the universal bits uh, these are kind of overkill but I do a lot of work around the house so I use them for use it for concrete metal, wood, so these are universal. Um, you can get the cheaper hole bits um, at Home Depot, and those will work just fine. Um, you just gotta make sure, uh, so this is 38 millimeter for, want the metric number, and then it's uh, inch and a half. So rule of thumb is measure twice, drill once. But anyways, so we'll go in the car and then I'll show you kind of where it's gonna line up. I'm more concerned about that than on the inside. But this is about right where it should come out. Okay, so now we're gonna get the inch and a half inch hole saw bit all hooked up onto the drill. So let's show you all the steps for that. So I tried to uh, hook it up to where I would have to use this extension, uh, but I'm still gonna have to use this. So we'll go ahead and show you that again real quick. So we get this bar attached to the chuck in here. I'm going to make this a lot bigger to accept the bit for the spider um, 
full saw bit. So now that it's opened up all the way, should have enough room and to get that in there. So that set up there. Sit over at the kit. Uh, if you're gonna use this kit, uh, I'll show you how what makes this actually really nice and the quick release function ability of it. So. so I got my inch and a half inch whole bit and in the kit we have two different bits. So this one here is for concrete, this one here is for wood and metal. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. And then you're gonna also use this attachment. So give me a second, we'll put you back up here on the bench, and we'll show you how that gets hooked up. So now we have the two pieces that fit supplied with the kit. Just go from the top, slide it down. You're gonna push this, gonna push this button right here. This allows you to lock it on. There you go. So it's all locked on there. So you're gonna see real quick what makes this really, really nice to change out the hole saw bits. So you take your bit here, it's threaded. Side that on here, and then if you notice, there's threads on here. So you're gonna pull down on this collar, like so. Spin this on, all the way to a stop, back it out, and then wait for it to lock in, and it's locked. And that's it. So then we're going to put this piece here in our exchange puzzle. So you're going to slide this into this chuck. Fairly goes in there. So hopefully it stays locked, locked in there. So then once you get all this together, Put this end into your drill. Perfect spot, but it's enough to get, get it going. Also, what's nice about starting a smaller pilot hole, uh, this, this bigger bit will just line right up in the center and make it a nice pilot hole. So this can go nice and slow until the drill bit gets all the way through. saw bit will catch here in a second.
guys can try to see what the hole looks like right now. And it looks like it's through on the one side and then it's going to go through on the other side. here and then I'll show you guys when I get all the way through. All right, so as you can see out here, we have a new hole saw bit. So the issue with the one that I was using, which I showed you guys earlier, if you notice, there's only two teeth on there. And so what was happening, so this would be good if it was just one layer of metal. So there is two, two ply basically. So there's two layers. There's the, the firewall layer on the outside and then there was another piece of sheet metal uh, on the inside, but then that was, they weren't butted up against each other. They're just kind of, I don't know, the mold. But the inside firewall isn't flush with the outside so it wasn't even or flush you'll see here in a second when I show you the hole but so I went to Home Depot and got the same size so an inch and a half well if you notice on here the teeth there's more teeth on there and again it's a universal bit it's called the uh, bulldozer a Milwaukee inch and a half and it came with the chuck and everything for 15 bucks so looking back at it this right here would be a better bet for this situation so I'd recommend using this kit right here um, it comes with the whole saw bit and the holder all for 15 bucks you don't buy anything else. So that's why I ended up doing it and it actually went right through it. So it was a lot easier using that uh, just due to the amount of teeth there around there and the fact that the uh, sheet metal wasn't, uh, the two pieces weren't put it up against each other. So I'll show you. Now I'll go in here. You can see in there, there's two layers of metal that I had to go through. You can see there's a gap. And so it's, it's got a gap between the two pieces and they're not flat. It's kind of tapered on the inside. So it was just easier using this, uh, the new bit that I got. So I recommend getting that. All right, so we finished cleaning up the hole here. And we'll touch with the grommet. Alright, so I have the grommet in. Let's show you what that looks like. So there it is, the grommet installed. It's all done.